I have created a new Mac OS and uh, I will install Ruby on Rails and other dependencies like PostgreSQL in Mac OS X. So for the instruction about Mac OS X, the best website is gorails.com. Go to guides, set up Ruby on Rails. And here it's about Mac OS X 10.9, 10.10, 10.11. So go to Apple store and check your version and our version is 10.11.3. So we want Mac OS X 10.11. So this is what we have to do to install Ruby on Rails. First of all, we want uh, to open the terminal. So, in terminal, we write git dash dash version and it will ask the git command line requirements and that will be the command line tools of xcode so we install these tools we aggregate and continue so once this xcode command line tools is installed we go on with the rails installation so i will see you in a minute now that the uh, software has installed the xcode command line tools next now when we do git 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 dash dash version it will show us the version now next we want to install homebrew so there is a command written in go rails so as uh, i told you before go rails has good documentation on how to install ruby on rails in any system like ubuntu or mac so now we want the homebrew to get installed and it's asking for password so now it's downloading and installing homebrew so meanwhile we can go to this link of homebrew to see what does homebrew do so it's a missing package manager for osx so yeah sometimes we need wget so we should install this brew as well so i see you in a minute when homebrew gets installed uh, homebrew has installed so what we do now is install the wget uh, and uh, then we can install ruby on rails uh, for ruby i want the version 2.2.3 if you want previous version you can select it now i do here i install ruby environment rbenv and ruby build so it's installing wget meanwhile it's for open ssl it is used sometime so it's good to have wget with us now we install ruby environment and ruby build now i see you again in some time when ruby environment and ruby build is installed ruby environment and ruby build is installed we want to echo the path of ruby environment in our bash profile so we copy this line and paste it it will import this path into our bash profile uh, 
so we have changed our bash profile so we want the system to know that we have changed our bash profile so we copy this line source bash profile after that we install ruby and the variant is 2.2.3 so we install this and i see you in a minute when this rbenv gets installed now that the ruby has installed we want to know the whole system that we have installed the new ruby so we say ruby env global 2.3 so we use globally the ruby variant 2.2.3 now we can say ruby dash v and the variant is ruby 2.2.3 so we are good to go next we set our git so we say that the global color ui is true and uh, the name is my name and uh, email is my email so and uh, now we generate ssh key with my email address yes i want to save in idrsa and i want empty passphrase and same empty passphrase now i can do this command to get my public key here i can copy this public key and can save in any of my git repository ssh keys like uh, if you are using github or bitbucket or gitlab so when you put this you, you don't have to the, enter the password every time you use git push or pull so if you use github then you use this command and it will say yes you are successfully authenticated now we are going to install rails and uh, we want to install 4.2.3 so for that we just write this line but we change the version so rails 4.2.3 so i see you in a minute when it gets installed so see you again the rails has installed 31 gems has been installed we want ruby environment to recheck its dependencies and now when we run rails dash v it shows rails 4.2.3 which we want so now we want postgresql so for that we do brew install as we installed homebrew before so once the post crease has installed then we can run these lines to launch the post crease now and to uh, load the post crease later so after that we will create a new app to check whether our installations are successful or not So now Postgres is being installed and uh, after that we 
launch the PostgreSQL and the last command which was load the PostgreSQL now so now everything is now ready we go to desktop and here I say rails new my app now it will create some starter files for the new rails app and also install the gems that are required to run uh, a ruby on rails in this system so i will see you again when all the gems are installed and the uh, starter files are ready now the starter files have been created and the necessary bundles have been installed so now we do cd my app we go inside the my app and run rails s now go to the safari and here we say local host port 3000 if you see this page that means that uh, our installations are good and uh, about your application environment we can see here the rails version is 4.2.3 and ruby version is 2.2.3 as we want it to be so our installation in osx is complete so see you in the next tutorial bye